at this point, this is just ridiculous. Yes, right. What's up? All right. is going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get into this video if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up let's get it to 150 likes if you're not subscribed click subscribe let's talk about xbox all right the news today red fail which i've been calling the game <laughs> for a while now the reviews are in and it's standing at a 64 on metacritic a 64 is a d minus not even a d a d is a 65 a d plus is a 68 69 it's a d minus almost an f and you know what that's the grade i'm giving xbox this generation a big fat F. Xbox needs to go third party, bro. They need to do themselves a favor, gamers a favor, the video game industry a favor, and just go third party. I mean, at what point are Xbox fans going to be like, we can't take this anymore? I was a big Xbox fan. I loved my Xbox 360. I liked my Xbox. My Xbox One X was dope. The hardware. But I was that's when I was just frustrated with Xbox. I'm like, I got this 400, 500, I forgot how much I paid for it. 400 or 500 dollars at the time. And I'm like, the hardware is great, but the software is trash. And all we kept hearing during the Xbox One generation, hold on, the games are coming. I saw a picture of somebody screen capping Aaron Greenberg every year, 2018. Oh, this is going to be a breakout year for Xbox, 2019 in January. This is going to be a phenomenal year for Xbox, 2020. Wait, don't you can't, the games are, every year, the games are coming, the games are coming. They're buying all of these studios, spending billions, not millions, billions of dollars. And this is what they have to show for it. Red Fail, 64 Metacritic. I, I am like the gaming prophet. When this game was first revealed, the whole internet was crazy. Oh, this game looks amazing. It looks dope. Finally, Xbox is bringing the games. And I was saying to myself, this is just CGI. They didn't show, at the initial reveal of the game, they didn't show anything. They just showed CGI. There are some companies I will give a pass when it comes to CGI. When PlayStation revealed Spider-Man 2, right here. And this was just all CGI. No gameplay, no gameplay, but it was just CGI. And you know what? I was hyped. Because they have a track record. Spider-Man was amazing on the PlayStation 4. Miles Morales was amazing on the PlayStation 5. So Sony, they are allowed to only show CGI in their first party games. Nintendo doesn't do it. Nintendo pretty much does gameplay. But if Tears of the Kingdom was just all CGI cutscenes, I would have been hyped. I would have been hyped. They have the track record. When has there ever been a bad home console Zelda game? Bad Zelda game, period. CGI doesn't count. That was a Nintendo first party. Excuse me, princess, no. There's never been. And so they earned the right. Xbox, y'all cannot announce a game 
and just have CGI. Y'all don't have that kind of pedigree behind y'all name. And so when the CGI was shown, it was trash. I was like, something's up. If they ain't showing no gameplay, no, nah, they ain't falling for the okie doke. And then they finally showed gameplay, and I was right. <laughs> like, this game looks like an Xbox One game. On the world's most powerful console, this game looks horrible. And to add insult to industry, mediocre graphics and 30 frames per second. Go back to Nintendo. I give Tears of the Print Tears of the Kingdom a pass. We don't know what the frame rate is going to be, but I'm almost certain. On the Switch, it's going to be 30 frames per second. An open world game, Switch can't handle it. But they're going to make up with it with creative um, open world design. Breath of the Wild was just amazing. And this game looks amazing. And so it isn't just the frame rate that makes the bad game, a bad game bad. The game is just bad. Red Fail is a bad game. PlayStation would never. They would never release time after time first party games, unfinished products, 30 frames per, has there been a first party PlayStation game at 30 frames per second where it's only capped at 30 frames per second? All the games have a performance um, um, fidelity option, but at least they give us a 60 frames per second option. Nintendo would never. Imagine Tears of the Kingdom being rated at 64 on Metacritic. I already know the game is going to be phenomenal because the previews are art out and everyone who's played the game has been blown away. And Red Fail is not the first time Xbox has done this. A lot of people can be like, oh, well, Red Fall, first of all, no excuses because it's still a first party studio. Bethesda is now an Xbox first party party studio so you can't say oh this isn't like halo or 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 gears well we could talk about halo because halo infinite was trash too halo infinite was an unfinished product when it launched red fail an unfinished product we're gonna patch in 60 frames per second oh my goodness I'm telling you, I should have put up a Starfield trailer, but it don't it don't even serve a point. Starfield is going to be mediocre too. I could smell a mediocre game a mile away. When I was watching that gameplay, of, first of all, everybody, no, not everybody, Xbox fans were so high, are so hyped for Star, Starfield, Starfail. I'm going to start calling Starfail from now. Hype, I'm calling it Starfail because even if the game gets maybe an 80 on Metacritic, it's not gonna sell because of Game Pass. That's another part. I could go do a whole other separate video about the problem with Game Pass right now. See, it's gonna end up biting Xbox in the butt. But Starfail, when I saw it, I'm like, the game looks not even good. It looks average. Like there's nothing about it that made me say, whoa. I don't know what else to say. But there needs to be either two things need to happen to Xbox. A long overdue shakeup in management or two, just go third party. Do, do everybody a favor. X, Microsoft is just about money anyway. You go third party, you own all these studios, put Halo on the PS5, on the Switch 2, whatever. And y'all would sell a lot of, uh, y'all would make a lot of money in software sales because they're, the fan base, PlayStation fan base, loyal, buy their games. Nintendo fan base, probably the most loyal, will definitely buy game, the first party games. So, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. Xbox, just go third party, put your games, put your games on other systems and try to recoup some of your loss from all these acquisitions y'all made. Cause y'all bought all of these studios and nothing to show for it except Hi-Fi Rush. Which, speaking of Hi-Fi Rush, sold abysmally as well.
I feel like Hi-Fi Rush is going to be like Ori, and Ori ended up being on the Switch and then eventually came to PS5. Hi-Fi Rush is a perfect game for the Switch. And I don't know. Um, Xbox and PlayStation has bad blood, right? Now, oh, because of the whole X Activision deal. Speaking of that, speaking of Xbox, oh my goodness, when it rains, it pours. They don't even, they're not even getting Call of Duty. Call of Duty was probably their ace in the hole. You know what we're struggling right now. But once we get COD, we can have a certain market on lock. That's not even happening. Game over, Xbox. That's a wrap. It's done. And I'm done with this video. <laughs> I'm going to play 2K on the Switch on my gaming channel. All right, what do you guys think about <laughs> oh, everything we talk? Oh, well, let's, let's end it with one good news item. Super Mario the movie, bro. Super Mario movie. There's a big rumor that um, the digital release is going to be May 9th in a week. And that's because the entire digital version of the movie has already leaked on Twitter. People were watching it on Twitter. I got the, the, the link and it's legit. The whole movie was on Twitter. So Nintendo's probably just going to try to curb um, as much as people getting it digitally bootleg. So Mario movie. Love the movie from beginning to end as a Mario fan. Uh, the digital release is May 9th. All right, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, I said, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All thanks, Nintendo. We out, boy. This channel that I'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when I had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers, man. And um, he's probably going to lose shit when I do this, but hey, man. I gotta say, my boy OB1, my boy OB1, man, that nigga is my nigga right there. He reminds me exactly of me when I was doing this shit on a smaller level. His channel, when I look at it, it's such a nostalgia trip. And he has a really cool audience too, man. If you could show this nigga some love too, that'd be awesome. I don't shout people out unless I like them. A lot. A lot. I'm picky with that. But, um, anyways, my boy Obi One, your boy Obi One. Hey man, I got you right here, my boy. Give that man a little bit of a look, man. He reminds me of me when I was smaller. You want to take a look in the past, my boy? This is the way you do it. I got the you, Jedi Master, right the Jedi Master. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got you, man. Obi One, you're playing two towns. Thank you. I got you, homie. I'm dedicating a workout set to <laughs> you, my boy. Let's go, guys. <laughs> 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, hey, no, they.